morning, Merton. Welcome to the kickoff of Celebration Day 2012. It's going to be an exciting day filled with fun activities, things that are related to fitness. Fun and fitness can't get much better than that. Today's the day to celebrate all things Merton. We've got so much to talk about. We've got so much to do. Uh, it's going to be a great day. I'm really looking forward to spending it with each and every one of you. Um, let's get things started right now. Hey, welcome to Celebration Day, grades four through six. The Celebration Day, this is our Coast to Coast Relay Run. We're going coast to coast this year. That's like going from Seattle, Washington to Miami, Florida, 3,350 miles. We're doing it as a school, we're doing it in teams, and boy, we're gonna have lots of fun. Your relay teams are gonna consist of six people, um, you're going to have two people from each grade level that's running on your track. There are three different tracks around the school. One for kindergarten, first, and second grade. One for three, four, and five. And one for six, seven, and eight. As you can see, you have six people on a team. Three runners are going to have batons, and there are three people running at a time. All right, you will be able to switch off, obviously, who's running by handing them the baton. Um, you can choose to use the batons in different ways. Everyone can run one lap, hand off the baton, then the next person runs. If some people are tired, you can run more than one lap at a time. So there are options on what to do with the batons. On the track, you're gonna have five transition zones on each track where all the teams are stationed. And this, the transition zone is a place where you switch your runners. So you're handing off the baton and you're switching whoever is running. All right, this is how to enter a transition zone, jogging slowly and safely, handing off that baton, and then you're going to exit that transition zone. Every time you finish, you must record your laps, please, so we know how far we ran as a school. Make sure you mark down your laps. Every lap counts. Here's, it. Here's everything kind of put together. You can see everybody's out on the track. We will be outdoors and our track will be much longer than this. But this will give you an idea of what it's going to look like. You can just safely find your person that you're going to hand your baton off to, and then they're out, and they're on the track. Again, their track outdoors is going to be much longer. The pace is going to be a little bit slower. But there is going to be a lot of people in the transition zone, so we will have to be careful in that area. You can see at this point in time, focusing on Bryn Bartlett here in the black, She's chose to run two laps because one of her teammates are tired. So you have that choice if you want. You can go out, you can run two laps, three laps, four laps, whatever you need to do to kind of help your team out and to make, it, make them all feel comfortable. All right. Now we're our running coast to coast. Uh, we are, as a school, going to have one hour to do this. So we're going to continue to try our best and get as many miles as we can. It's going to take determination. Right? As you can see, sometimes it might get tough, but you got to keep working. All right? Never give up, and please encourage. Encourage all your teammates. That's what Merton is all about. And when the run is done, we're going to need your help. Please help tally the miles for your team. Please hand your tally sheets to the nearest teacher, and please help move the tables to the gyms. Congratulate everyone on a job well done. Thank you from the Celebration Day crew, Mr. Pomeroy, Mrs. Degner, and Mrs. Bradley. A beginning to a fantastic day. Thank you very much. This is Celebration Day, Steal the Treasure. This is a team game where one team is on one side of a line and the other team is on the other side of a line. So you see the blue zone and the black team zone. You can see that there's some attackers and some defenders, uh, and maybe some people that could either be attackers or defenders. After you cross that line, you kind of want to find a safe zone marked off by hula hoops. And then there's another safe zone that if you come across an attack and you try to steal the treasure, if you make it past the cones on the other side of the area, you are safe. You can see they pick up a piece of treasure. They're going to try to race back to their side so they are safe. After you make it back, you need to put your treasure in your basket. You are not safe anymore when you cross the center line. If you get tagged, you must 
do 10 push-ups in your jail. After you do your 10 push-ups in jail, you are free to come back in the game, enter back in on your side. As you can see, and now you'll see you might get tagged while you have a piece of treasure so you make it all the way through split the whole team you've made it to the safe zone you've grabbed your treasure you're coming back and you get tagged of course you need to put that treasure back then you need to go to jail so you see how she drops it in the bucket do your 10 push-ups oh you find that hula hoop and you are safe but remember only one person in a safe zone uh-oh, she got caught out. Hey, don't forget, go on the attack. Plan things with your team. The more people you bring sometimes, the tougher it can be to stop them. If your team is on the attack, you have a greater chance to score. All right, you can see they've all grabbed many pieces of treasure here. One piece with each person, and they're on their attack on the way back. You can see when you go on the attack, you can get lots and lots of treasures. All right, that's what you need to win at the end of the time limit. We'll count up which team has more treasures. You want to be the one with the most. Hey, it's Celebration Day. This is Steal the Treasure. Hey, this is Celebration Day, tug of war. You're going to line your teams up, having one person kind of alternating from the right side to the left side all the way back. And you've got an anchor spot in the back. You need to set your anchor. Get your person in the back locked in, locked down. Ready to hold that team down, getting in that low position. There's that strong anchor. Get a strong grip and a low center of balance. Keep pulling and holding and tugging as long as you can. Got to keep going and keep going until you pull it across the cone. After you pull it across the cone, your team has won. Hey, this is a best of seven grudge match for seventh and eighth grade. And this is a round robin tournament for grades four, five, and six. Hey, this is celebration day, tug of war. This is celebration day, hole in the bucket. Here's your class setup. You're going to be starting behind the water trough. Your class needs to be in a straight line, and the goal of this game is to fill the bucket. You're going to walk slowly up to the horse trough. You're going to pick up water in that bucket, and you're going to notice there's holes in it. You're going to have to pass it over head, over head, over head. Keep the bucket moving, and keep that bucket flat, as flat as you can, so you don't spill too much. Yep, that water's cold, always being ready. And then, of course, you're just going to repeat that process again and again and again and again and again until that bucket is full. Notice how she's walking to the horse trough. That will be safe. You don't want to go any faster than that. And, oh, no, if you're not careful with that water, there's nothing in it. Celebration Day, hole in the bucket. Hey, it's Celebration Day, and this is the scavenger hunt. <clears throat> First off, you need to re read the clue as a team. Your team leader will have the clue. Then you need to move together as a class to find the clue, which is hidden inside the canister. So you must find the canister. Again, inside that canister, there's going to be some sort of stickers. You're going to have to remove the sticker. Probably take off the backing of the sticker, and then you're going to place the sticker on a score sheet in the proper order because the order will be checked um, to make sure you did it correctly. Make sure you clean up by throwing everything away and put the canister back exactly where you found it. Then you get the next clue from your leader. You have to read it, discuss where you're going to go as a group, and then as soon as you can, go as a team to find the next canister. Some will have magnets. You're going to find that canister and you're going to repeat the process that you did before. Again, taking the canister off from wherever it was, getting your sticker, again, placing that sticker on your score sheet. As you can kind of see, you're going to have to fill up the whole score sheet. If you don't and the time is up, then we'll see who has the most. But again, return the canister where you found it. You're going to return it to a station leader to check it over to make sure you did it correct. 
And this is Celebration Day, Scavenger Hunt. Hey, this is Celebration Day. These are NASCAR races. Here we got two riders, two drivers, and then your other groups are going to be waiting. You must assemble the car, get three scooters safely underneath, get your riders on. Drivers begin to push, making sure they're taking them slow enough to be safe to go around that gym. Works well that they have one driver in the front and one in the back. When you get back to your pit stop, you're going to change riders and drivers by taking the mat off, by placing the scooters there. Your new riders and drivers come down from the bleachers. They assemble the car as it is. You are going to repeat the process and make sure to record your laps so we know who ends up with the most laps. This is lots of fun. It's NASCAR races for Celebration Day. And that's your Celebration Day. Remember to enjoy it, have fun, make sure you do your job, and just really enjoy the day with everyone. We are Celebrate Merton. What a great place to be.